The following segment contains sponsored content. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and not those of Nextar Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. Welcome back to Loving Living Local. I'm Gretchen Wirtz, and today we are cooling off. That's right. It is time to cool off here with Mushante Heating and Cooling. Nick Mushante is joining us right now. Good to see you again. Thank you for having me back. Uh, so we, we had a little hot spell. We did. <laughs> and gosh. we're going to see more, I'm yes, sure. Yes. We are not quite done with it yet. Did you survive that craziness? We did. We did. We're, we're still standing. Uh, <laughs> we felt like we were in the boxing ring for a, for little, a little bit. bit yeah. But uh, everybody's taken care of and everybody's cooling right now. And cooling right now. That is good. All right. Well, it's been about a year since we've seen you. How's business been? What, uh, what, what's happening right now? What are the big trends? What are you seeing? So uh, big trends, you know, we, we've been busy um, doing a lot of residential and commercial jobs. Uh, we've partnered with the, the utility companies like we talked and have been taking advantage of a lot of the rebates offered. Mm -hmm. They're they are out there. So we've been passing those on to the customers and informing them of that. Um, smart thermostats, energy efficiency is, is mm -hmm. really important now. So smart thermostats are, are trending and indoor air quality um, devices are, are actually on the on the rise as well. So like the, the lighted or what are you? That's one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UV lights, uh, you know, there's there's all kinds of, of, of air cleaners out there now, humidifiers. Okay. Um, yeah, it, there's definitely um, accessories that we can clean your air with. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, when it comes to heating and cooling so that you don't get hit with some, you know, extreme heat like we had and then you're Something's not working. What do people need to be doing on a regular basis? Clean filters. Uh, if, if you're noticing debris or brush around your outdoor unit, keep that clear. Um, there's there is, is all kinds of ways to to keep your outdoor unit clean of, of debris, and uh, we we are here to to do that for you. My mom, her air conditioner wasn't working. She changed the filter. It dropped like five degrees. That's like what that. happens. And yeah. it was just very simple. So it's yeah. just something. Yeah. And and, and if it's something you don't want to do or can't do or you're not trying to do, get on a regular maintenance plan. They're so inexpensive and such a good way to go Absolutely. to like make your system last Absolutely. a lot longer. We actually tailored our maintenance plans according to the system age. So. So we have okay. three tiers according to uh, you know the age of your system, and we've found that that really helps keep people uh, you know ahead of the curve when it comes to costly repairs. And you know there there are it's there are more involved than the clean filters for sure. Yeah, but yeah. It definitely uh, there are definitely ways we can prevent the costly repairs. And and, and it's 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 um, important to get on that right away. I I know when I got a new system, I'm like oh, I don't need to maintain it for a while. You mm -hmm. get in that mindset, and then and, but. Mm -mm. You've yeah. got to just at least. Absolutely. So that's good that you have different tiers. So depending on the, yeah. the age of your system, um, what are people? What can people do at home maybe to make their systems run better or longer um, when it's in these extreme heat conditions? When it's hot like this, you guys, uh, we like to encourage people to adjust the temperature in their home. If you're not going to be home. You know, bump it up uh, three or four degrees, and just give that system a break. Um, obviously, the lower the the the, ter the thermostat is set, the longer and harder it could run. So we like to give it a break when we can. Do people always ask though? Should you have a big change in the temperature, or <laughs> is it better to go up a lot? You know, or that's, just leave yeah. it at one? It, does it take too much energy to ramp up and down? That is, that's like the chicken and the egg question, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Um, but my opinion, my opinion is, uh, it's it's more than okay to bump that up three or four degrees. Okay. Uh, it, it, it shouldn't take the unit long to recover. Uh, you know, if you you really want to stay away from probably more than that, because okay. then you're you're looking at time frame of of it keeping up, of so. ramping back up and everything. Yeah. All right, well, if you have any questions or you want your system looked at, you can give Nick a call over there at Mushante Heating and Cooling. They're in Pekin, 821 Brinkman Drive. Give them a call at 267-6699 or at MushanteHVAC.com. Nick, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you. Stay cool. <laughs> All right, more coming up. Keep it right here. The preceding segment contains sponsored content. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and not those of Nextar Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees.